So when I was coming here an hour ago or so, I was intending to ask the Russian ambassador to confirm on the record that the Russian troops will not start firing at Ukrainians today and go ahead with the offensive. It became useless 48 minutes ago. Because about 48 minutes ago, your president declared the war on Ukraine. So now I would like to ask the ambassador of the Russian Federation to say on the record that at this very moment, your troops do not shell and bomb Ukrainian cities. That your troops do not move in the territory of Ukraine. You have a smartphone. You can call Lavrov right now. We can make a pause to let you go out and call him. If you are not in a position to give an affirmative answer, the Russian Federation ought to relinquish responsibilities of the President of the Security Council, pass these responsibilities on to a legitimate member of the Security Council, a member that is respectful of the Charter, and I ask the members of the Security Council to convene an emergency meeting immediately and consider all necessary draft decisions to stop the war. Because it's too late, my dear colleagues, to speak about de-escalation. Too late. The Russian president declared the war on the record. Should I play the video of your president? Ambassador, shall I do that right now? Or you can confirm it. Do not interrupt me, please. Thank you. Then don't ask me questions when you are speaking. Proceed with your, proceed with your statement. Anyway, you declare the war. It is the responsibility of this body to stop the war. So I call on every one of you to do everything possible to stop the war. Or should I play the video with your president declaring the war? Thank you very much. Again, I must say that I thank the representative of Ukraine for his statement and the questions. I wasn't planning to answer them because I have already said all I know at this point. Waking up Ms. Minister Lavrov at this time is not something I plan to do. You said the information that we have will be something we provide. And this isn't called a war, this is called a special military operation in the Donbass. I now give the floor to the representative of Germany.